Welcome to one of the parts HSC exam question videos. In this video, we're going to cover one of the parts HSC exam questions on the water for transport chapter. While well, doing the second, I read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. And once you've paused the video, attempt the question. And when you're ready, press play, and I'll go over the answer itself. So the question here is, current theories describe differences in the movement of substances through plants. Compare the movement of substances in xylem and phloem in tissue. And that's worth three marks. And you have to fill out this table. That's your task. So it says feature, xylem, phloem, material transported, process of movement, name of relevant current theory. So pause the video, and then when you're ready, press play, and I'll go over the actual answer. Welcome back. So for this kind of question, it's again a relatively straightforward question. You need to know that the process of movement, this was asking you if it's passive, which means it requires energy, uh, no energy, passive means no energy, or active, so it's either active or passive. That's for this one. Here you need to know, you know what is transported in the, in the actual xylem and phloem tubes. And for name of relevant theory, current theory is what do we call this movement of in xylem and phloem. So that's what all you have to do for this, and it's worth three marks. So half a mark for each correct part here. So the material transported in xylem, remember that was water. So it was water was transported in xylem. We also transported ions, so water and ions, the main one being water. And remember in phloem, that was what we're transporting, we're transporting sugar in phloem. So a half mark for each of these. Um, say half and a half. So the process of movement is it active or is it passive? In xylem it was all passive. So water flows by itself. We don't need to have energy invested to make it move. Whereas in phloem, because we're going against the gradient, at one stage when we're pumping sugar into the tube, into phloem tube, we have to use energy. So it's active transport. And again that gets a half mark for the passive and half mark for the active. And for the name of relative and current theories, there's a couple of things you could have written here. Uh, for xylem, this was the transpirational pull. Transpirational pull. And you could have always added um, cohesion plus adhesion. I wouldn't recommend writing that by itself because that would probably wouldn't be enough. But you can always write transpiration pull, and it works for cohesion and adhesion. For phloem, that was your translocation. So you could have written translocation. And you could also have written from source to sink, because that's the way it travels. Remember, source was the place where sugar is produced, source to sink, and sink was where sugar was needed. And by just naming these current theories, you also get a half mark for each of these. And overall, that would be three marks out of three. And where does this dot point or this question come from? It comes from this dot point. So first of all, it says describe current theories. So we need to know the current theory because it says in dot point the current theory. So we need to know one of the whatever they are for xylem and for phloem. But we also have to be able to describe them. And that was the whole, you know, passive movement, active movement that was describing it. Sort of sync that was also describing it, cohesion adhesion, that was all part of describing the current theories. And the name of it was transpiration pull for xylem and translocation for phloem. So I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.